This is the Shelly One Gen 3, only eight amps, but um, this is 120 volts going through it and definitely more than eight amps. We're showing that it's charging from this battery. It's saying it's putting out 1600 watts, but this one's charging 1500. I did check with the power meter one and it was blowing that one out over 16 amps. So definitely do not do this, but you can see it's doing it. Um, I don't know if it's very safe. So how hot is it? Is the thing. So I got their Kawits. This eight amp relay in size getting up to 180 degrees right now. 182, at least that's the case. The relay is right there. So, yeah, probably not a good idea. You can see why I would not use this in the US market because if I had a dead short, then potentially for a while, um, I guess you could debate that. What if I had some sort of short that was, it was pulling 15 amps through it and the breaker wasn't tripping and now this caught fire? I know there's a lot of different circumstances and everything. If there's a dead short, the breaker should still catch it. But I just don't feel comfortable with putting an 8 amp device with a 15 amp breaker. It doesn't sit well with me. So I would probably, if I did want to use this, I would want to fuse it, but I would just go with the older model that supported 16 amps. So we're up to 190 degrees Fahrenheit now. So it is doing it, but I don't know for how long. We're almost balanced on the batteries. So wouldn't be able to do this test that much longer. Let's see if we can pop 200 degrees, but it won't just automatically go poof. I wish they would have included an interior fuse or something in it because of the 8 amp, but I guess this is more of a overseas product and not a U.S. product. So we've been running it for about 5-10 minutes now. Um, we're at 230 degrees Fahrenheit. And um, yeah, it's... I don't want to leave my finger on it. It's that hot. Definitely something you wouldn't want in your box that you can't see to get that hot. So for kicks, I did try the relay a couple times. It still does work. Now it doesn't just go bam and kick on because these slowly ramp up. So I guess when you would plug them in, it doesn't you know, throw a big arc. So it starts out slow, ramps up to I guess um, have it doing 1600 watts. And with the relay still kicking, but damn, it's hot. We're like 240, almost 250 now. Um, yeah, but the battery's just balanced out, so it just kicked off. So, um, decent little test, though, but I still don't like it. Definitely got to put a fuse on if you're going to do something like this.